Sunfall, the Mad King Duran Summer Palace, a bulwark of Karja might against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. Won't cost you but a shard to look. Have you noticed all the empty... It's not like this in Meridian. At least. Give them time. Fire will boost morale I'm sure they will miss it. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. Outlanders! If you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. I'll take the shards, even if it means having a listen of them. Should pay well. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, Radiant Edaman, the one true Sun King. The light in shadow. Whose will is light, and whose light is law! I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Mm. Love your hair. You and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside? I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me, while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. But the Kestrels... Ah, they want us to see this, boy! It makes quite an impression. This is insane. Hardly. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. Other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. <sighs> I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend to the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. 
I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure, as year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Oh, for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. I understand. Too bad now, I... Of everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one whisking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. <sighs> Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top-secret super-weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague, if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, 
the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of zero dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb? Only a little blood. Could be worse. We're too close to let tribal crypto stop us now. The data points, what do they contain? Ready.
DDO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about. And build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings, spawned at cradle facilities around the globe, will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. The whole Earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes, by a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth did this. Oh, us. Why Hades, then? If it was part of Gaia, how'd it end up in the wreckage of a feral robot? And why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? And Hephaestus, taking over Cyan. I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Alert. Medical wing inaccessible.
Intruder, get her! Whatever you do, don't die now. I've done this before. Just need my focus. Got too much already. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Should check the door nearby. one. Looks intact. That should do the trick. Now let's get that door open. should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia. It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. Oh, no, 
Anyway, but get moving. You have to find Gaia. and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we are going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. A waste of time. Our if Hephaestus was part of a system designed to save life, why would it use Cyan to make a culture? Why you This is Elizabeth Sobeck's office, but it, it sealed more eclipse. Careful now. Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. 
As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is... Over here! It's her! <laughs> They're leaving. Once more. In what should have been a cave of wonders. Look around. See if anything is left. Spare the weight. Zerodon's Extinction Failsafe Protocol, the ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, <laughs> what the? Looks like the only way onwards. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I, I am Patrick Rochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now she let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. Under my watch, our activity... Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Whole Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Us would benefit from antelope and morphology, though capric forms show superior load-bearing capability. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, 
May I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia is going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Registry master file. 